In March of 2024, MathWorks released a full-fledged MATLAB extension for Visual Studio Code. This means that you can run MATLAB scripts within one of the most popular programming IDEs. If you don't already have VS Code, you can download the latest version for your operating system. Once you open VS Code, go to Extensions, search for MATLAB, and select the extension that's authored by MathWorks. Then click the Install button to begin the process. Be sure to consult this documentation here if you have any issues with installation, running code, or setting up your path variable. On the left, I've opened up a GitHub repository that has .m files. You can tell because they have the little MATLAB logos next to the files. On the right is the VS Code Editor. Use this to edit scripts the same way you would in the MATLAB editor. You can't use Control Enter to run your MATLAB script. You can either use VS Code's option of the button in the top right or by hitting F5 on your keyboard. If you get a pop-up like this, be sure to click Add to Path. Upon completion, we have the expected gradient descent MATLAB figure, and then we have the output displayed in what VS Code calls the terminal. Specifically, this is a MATLAB terminal and you can treat this like the MATLAB command window. We no longer have the traditional MATLAB IDE workspace where all your variables are shown, so we recommend using the whos command to display all the variables that were generated and are currently kept in memory. When using VS Code, you can benefit from the GitHub Copilot extension, which the MATLAB IDE doesn't have. This extension gives you the ability to provide a prompt to the Copilot, which it will use to generate code for you. Additionally, as you code, the Copilot will offer code completion that finishes the line you're working on. There are a few things to note about this extension. Number one, to run MATLAB scripts and VS Code, you need to have MATLAB installed locally on your machine. Your MATLAB license will automatically be linked, and then you should be good to go. If you don't have MATLAB installed, then you can only do basic functionalities like opening and editing MATLAB scripts, but you can't run anything. Secondly, the MATLAB extension doesn't include every single feature of the MATLAB IDE. Notably, the debugger has not been integrated yet, but I hope MATLAB will roll this out in a future update to the extension. And fun fact, VS Code isn't the only IDE that you can now run MATLAB scripts in. You can now run your MATLAB code in Jupyter Notebooks, Sublime, Helix, and NeoVim. Thank you to everyone who's contributed to these efforts. This includes MATLAB's own internal teams working on this, as well as open source contributors who do this out of the goodness of their own hearts. Also, a huge shout out to Xavier Hahn, who got the ball rolling by putting out his own extension for MATLAB years ago. All in all, I'm a big fan of being able to use MATLAB within VS Code. As someone who personally splits time between Python and C++ and C or whatever I'm doing, it's nice to not have to move to a new IDE just to use MATLAB. Also, I see this as the latest of MATLAB's modernization. We've now seen MathWorks release the MATLAB AI Chat Playground, MATLAB Online, and the new Desktop with Dark Mode. These are keeping MATLAB feature-rich amidst the ever-changing and competitive programming landscape. I'm excited to see what's next. Be sure to subscribe for the latest. Thank you for watching and have a great day.